Mycenae, the most powerful and wealthy city of the Homeric age. Mycenae was an ancient city in Argolis, situated at the foot of Mount Tritias at the northeast corner of the Argolinian Valley. The name is considered pre-Hellenic, believed to come from a goddess named Mycenae, worshipped in the city as a guardian, but later forgotten. Homer refers to the city extensively, describing it as having wide streets and much wealth, indicating that Mycenae was almighty during the period of 1600 to 1100 BC. This is probably why, according to Homer, the Mycenaean king Agamemnon was chosen to be chief general of the Greeks in the campaign against Troy. What made Mycenae so powerful was the fact that it was situated at the crossroads of four roads used for trading purposes. Nevertheless, it is almost certain that after the Trojan War, the city fell into decay. Legend has it that Mycenae was founded by Perseus, grandson of the king of Argos, Acrisius. Perseus' kingdom initially had Tirinth as its capital, but upon realizing it was disadvantageously situated, he searched for a new site, to build a new capital city. According to myth, while traveling in the region, Perseus saw a fungus, or mykitas in Greek, perhaps a mushroom, and on pulling it, discovered a water spring, named to this day, Persia. The Persia fountain exists to this day, Since the existence of water was the most important advantage an ancient city could have, Perseus decided to found his new city there, giving it the name Mycenae. Others believe the name comes from uh, his dropping his sword, Mysis in Greek, sheath or casing at the city. Perseus was the founder of the Persides dynasty, to which the small square tombs at the Mycenae Acropolis belong. The Persides dynasty was overthrown by the Pelopides dynasty, from which the Atreides tribe came. The Pelopidians built the Gate of Lions, and active as they were, acquired power and status to the point of presiding over the whole Peloponnese and the surrounding islands. The famous Agamemnon was a descendant of this powerful line of kings who ruled the region for more than three centuries, 1400 to 1050 BC. They had trade relations with Crete, the coast of Asia Minor, as well as distant Egypt. They owned the Acropolis forts, the domed tombs, such as Atreus' renowned tomb, and other smaller tombs ransacked for many years. All we know today of the Mycenaeans come from legends and stories, so we do not really know much with historical accuracy. The few references by other ancient authors, the numerous findings from excavations, weapons, 
jewelry, statues. And the extensive settlement remains inside and around the Mycenaean Acropolis offer us an insight into the Mycenaean way of life. The massive stones used for the Gate of Lions reveal their strength. Their works caused such amazement they were called Cyclopean. At the top of the hill, they built the palace. According to findings, it was also decorated with colored wall paintings as all the other Mycenaean palaces. It was a rectangular building with many small rooms all around. The Mycenaean decline began in the 12th century BC. It is believed that after Agamemnon's murder by Aegisthus, the Athridis' kingdom ceased to exist and the new conquerors of the Peloponnese, the Dorians, had no difficulty in seizing the country in the 11th century BC. Mm -hmm.